Hey, what's going on guys? It's Igor here and in this video in particular I'm going to show you the basics for just starting off getting your Salem installed. I'm also going to show you how to install the Enders client, how to mess with the radar and get some you know things going on in the radar and stuff like that so first off I just want to say that I'm gonna make this video in preparation to do as much of the seven list guide on the forums that I can so obviously I'm I'm gonna start out by explaining your steps from getting the beta key downloading the client getting a third-party client like enders which is my personal favorite getting it in the new world and explaining Salem what it is and the first things that you should know the first thing is that Salem is a sandbox crafting MMORPG where crafting things is the bread and butter of the game and it also implements permadeath so if you die your character is gone but if you take the proper precautions and be careful you shouldn't die or you won't die I, I think you shouldn't die. Um, it also is the most rewarding game I've ever played so that when you, when you have the feeling like you have something to permanently lose and you've worked so hard for it, you appreciate it that much more. And Salem can be very addicting, but, but once again, it, it's really rewarding. But first off, I want to thank Sevenless for letting me use his guide as somewhat of a script. And before I tackle the rest of the guide over time, I'm going to start with what to do when you get your beta key, how to get the the client downloaded, getting a third party, third party client like Enders, and just getting started on the, you know, editing your radar so that you feel comfortable with it and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. So the first thing you do is, I know it's in the email, but the first thing you do in case you didn't get a chance to do it is you just simply go to login.salemgame.com and it'll bring you into a temporary links page. Now this temporary links page is just real simple um, it's real easy and I just well logged out so I can show you guys how to do it there and when you get your beta account um, your beta key what you do is you just click the register beta account um, and what that does is it brings you to this screen where you enter in your username which is going to be your username for the forums and also the username that you're going to use to log in so don't make it too ridiculous where you can't remember and it is case sensitive from my experiences so if you have a capital letter is your first one that you always have to keep it a capital letter so you're going to enter in your username enter in your password password again then enter in your beta key and you can read the end user license agreement or you don't have to it's up to you and then click the checkbox and click register and I already have my account so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in to show you what it looks like there so we're gonna log in and just do this here get my password typed in and there we go and now it brings you to this screen where it says account settings for me um, account created account or last game login so on and so forth you have access to the forum to your account settings the store which is currently down by the way uh, on the forums totally Moo had made a post saying that the, the store was down and he doesn't have an ETA on when it's gonna be back up but I'm sure it's down for really good reasons I'm sure that they're making it a lot easier for us to use maybe make it a little bit more streamlined so it's a little easier so then what you do now let's say you don't have the game installed you have nothing started yet what you do you just click this little button launch the client and it's gonna open up Java 6 or Java 7 it's gonna download the application because I uninstalled mine to show you guys so it's gonna download it it's gonna install it and there you go BAM um, this is the default client so if you want to use the default client you are more than welcome to I personally don't like using the default client it's just not my thing so you just I just close out of that now to install Ender's client it's it's ridiculously easy I'm gonna show you how to do it and what you do is you just go click the forum button or you can type in forum.salemgame.com and that'll bring you to the forums which you have access to the help which you can ask questions about Salem's gameplay general discussion um, for trades and stuff like that and looking for a group all that stuff But what we're gonna focus on right now is we're gonna go to artifice and arcana or arcana however you want to pronounce it and click on that and the first one down in topics is Salem client by ender so you're gonna click on that and it's gonna this right here basically gives you a list of all the things that that it uh that it adds to your game that that is it changes you know just you know you can you can drag it or the mini map you can drag it with the left mouse button you can resize it by dragging it at the bottom right corner with the left mouse button so on and so forth so you can read that if you want to see the changes that it makes and literally guys to install it it's really so simple all you do is you just click that little icon right there it's gonna do the same thing bring up Java 6 or 7 download it verify it and then this little thing comes up which is what he says right here just be sure to press no when the dialogue about mixed code pops up 
and this is what that is it's dialogue about mixed code so if you click yes it's going to always crash it's going to keep crashing and keep crashing and you won't be able to log in so you have to hit no so now you're going to go to your desktop and you're going to see that it says Salem and Custom Salem are going to be right here as two icons right on the desktop. Salem is the default client, Custom Salem is Ender's client. So if you click Custom Salem, it's going to pop up and the same dialog box about mixed code is going to pop up. You just click no and now you are in the Ender's client. It's going to say Salem modified by Ender v16.08.2012, which is the last update date, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And now you can log in. Now once you log in, let's say you want to mess with the radar, you're wondering, well, why is the smooth stones the same color as blackberries or something? That's just an example. So what you do to play with the radar, and you can actually get players on there, is you just go open up your, your libraries, go to local disk C, go to users, and then whatever your username for your computer is, and then you're going to go, you're going to see a Salem folder right in there. Now once you go to the Salem folder, you're going to see this file called, it's an XML document called Radar. If you actually open this file with Notepad, you'll pop it up here and now you have access to every item that is displayed on the, on the radar and you can change the colors, you can change, you can change what it's named if you want. Um, and you can mess with, where is it? Okay, right here. This is the, I'll highlight it there for you. Now you can pause the video here if you like and make sure that that little, that little part is in your radar notepad document. And what that does is it shows players. So if you're on your, if you're in your settlement or something, you see that little red dot walking up to you, you know that's another player. And what this is, which is the FF0040, that is the color, that is HTML color for red. So I like keeping it at red but you could change it to whatever you want um, and all of these ones 010101 um, 00 e600 those are all HTML colors so you could change the colors to however you want but I'll show you how to find colors right now and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back in Internet Explorer you're gonna go up to Google Yahoo whatever you use and you just type in HTML color codes and it should be one of the first ones that pops up and I like this particular site HTML dash color dash codes dot info and it will actually you got a list down here or not a list but like a little kind of a selector thing you can actually select all the different colors and select in there and you see these numbers right here keep changing so you just take that you just copy this and you just put it right after the pound sign or right where I'm not going to replace mine but right where this E1 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 is you would just paste it right into there and when you finish messing with however you want to do it all you do is just go up to file and you just click save and it's simple as that and then now you've messed with your Ender's client you've messed with your radar and you're good to go and now you should feel comfortable with the game so that's all it is for this tutorial uh, and the next one I'm going to be starting in the game um, I'm going to start off with skills and proficiencies I'm going to use the ender I'm going to use the seven list guide almost as a script to do the skills and proficiencies and I'm, that's where I'm going to start with the guide and hopefully uh, me and Zach in the future are hopefully planning to tackle the whole guide it is a 10,000 plus word guide so it's going to take us a little while but the next tutorial I'm going to do is, is on skills and proficiencies how to get started and what everything means so hopefully this guide helped you out guys I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video